2012, my family lived in Fort McMurray and that was where we received my brother's diagnosis and we were told as a family that he would have a number of developmental delays. And this is around the same time where we signed him up for Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. Very quickly those books that came in the mail became a part of our monthly and daily routine. He insisted on having the books for breakfast, lunch and dinner, bath time, bedtime, you name it. He had the books and he would not let go of them. The skin is smooth and gray. Mm -hmm. We're told at the age of seven, he's actually a whole reading level ahead of his neurotypical peers. And there was no doubt about it that the Imagination Library program is really what got the ball rolling. My family moved to Edmonton. I grew up, my friends were growing up, and some of them even started having children. And I was so excited because I wanted them to sign up their kids for the program. But I was shocked to find out that the program didn't exist in Edmonton. And knowing the deep impact it had on my family, it only made sense to make it a possibility for our city. And that's when I reached out to EPL and we established our own chapter called Ready, Set, Read, and it's here now. Whatever your needs are, there's always something or someone at the library to cater to those needs. Not just from a literary or a content point of view, but in making people feel like they're part of something, part of the community that they live in.